fans bet on who's going to win the big game. Animal lovers are getting ready for the Puppy Bowl on Animal Planet. That's on Sunday as well, now in its 10th year. There's even a halftime show that's going to feature keyboard cat and little bub. Joining me now, Dan Schachner, the announcer celebrating his third year as the Puppy Bowl referee. All right, Dan, I've spoken to you, to you before. What have you learned in the first two years that you were the ref to keep these little critters in control? Uh, the best thing to do is watch where you step. That's the number one bit of advice I can give everybody because there's a lot of little tails underneath you. There's also a little presence that these pups love to leave throughout the game that you got to watch for. And the other thing I've learned is to um, never underestimate the smaller breeds because they are fast as lightning and they're often our highest scorers. So do you actually keep score in the puppy bowl or is it just we a free-for-all? No, it's not a, it is every pup for himself. There's no organized teams, but there actually is a little bit of a rule here, when, and that is a pup um, it has to drag a, a chew toy, which is the ball, into the end zone, and that creates a touchdown. And, yes, we keep score, and often the pup who has the most uh, touchdowns in any given game is named MVP, our most valuable pup. 